How are you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. All right, so this is part two of the uh, do-it-yourself paint-on uh, screen, actually Crystal H Technology screen demonstration. On uh, the first video, I actually coded and painted the screen. If you want to check out that video demonstration on how to basically easily use our Crystal H Technology now and a screen paint form, um, check that out at the video description at the bottom. All right, so this is the afterwards after the screen has dried. It doesn't take long, as you can see, uh, for the screen to dry. Um, so right here against the screen, we have a piece of uh, of um, the uh, Dark Star Nine. Now, mind the screen is probably around uh, two thousand, three thousand dollars. I'm not sure. I think it's around that price. And the back of the screen, we'll see that it has. If I can get the camera here to play nice with me today. And the camera's been having some very serious focus issues, I'm telling you, I don't know why. Okay, coming back right. Okay, we got a 180 degree viewing angle at a 0 0.9 gain. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. So, to show you what we painted here, this right here is a piece of white. I'll only bring it around, here's a name for it too. I don't know if I can pronounce this right. Uh, carbon something, polyor thing. I don't know if I pronounce this right, but it's a form of uh, plastic cardboard. So we'll put that right here. And then um, behind this, let me try to get all this down here. I'm sorry about that. You see on my jacked up socks, I do apologize. This right here is cardboard. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to pull this back a little bit more. Okay. There we go. So that's cardboard right there. So this screen right here is cardboard. Uh, this right here is plexiglass. So this is. Plexiglass, this is all plexiglass right here. Now mind, you only did one coat. Uh, if you want to, you can do two coats. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's plexiglass. Uh, cardboard, um, let's see, did plexiglass with cardboard. Over here, this is kitchen uh, kitchen panel. So I don't know if you can see the back of this. I don't want to pull back too far. So this is basically, matter of fact, let me pull this back here, because it'll be easier to do. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, this is kitchen panel. It was coated with chemical. And this right here is glass. This is a sheet of glass right there. So, those are the different surfaces. Now, mind, these are just some of the surfaces that you can coat with this chemical. You can actually do a lot more than that. Um, there is sheetrock, there is drywall, vinyl, canvas. Uh, you name it, you can actually coat it with this chemical right here. So, it's very, very easy um, to apply. All right, so what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna go back, we're gonna do a demonstration really quick, and we're gonna show you exactly like how fast you can actually paint, use our screen paint to actually paint a high professional, high gain screen, and you don't have to spend the money for an expensive projector screen, because some of these screens out here will cost you, you know that, it'll cost you around uh, $1,000 or 3000 or 5000 It's just for a 100 inch screen, okay? So you come out cheaper, and for those of you that I, have, get, I get this question quite a bit. They're asking me, can I paint my pre-existing projection screen? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, I'll be doing a video demonstration pretty soon, probably next week, on how to tape and using frog tape, of course, how to tape and, um, and, uh, and plastic your screen to coat it and show you can actually roll the screen up and down over and over and over again, and you don't have to worry about the screen cracking or peeling on you. All right, so uh, let me see. Let me come over here, let me turn this on real quick. Oh, the Windows updates, I hate these freaking things, man. Yeah, 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 whatever, get on with it. Can't stand these things. All right, let's remove this real quick, all right? And as you see, we have our lights on, because we have our lights actually nailing the screen, so we have a light here, and we have a light here, and we have a light here, so we have plenty of light hitting the screen, okay? And then we're going to turn it off with the lights off because some of you guys like to see the video with the lights off. Now there is the Dark Star 9 right there in the middle. And it just proves you don't have to go out and spend $3,000 or $5,000 for a projection screen. We can do it with our screens with our chemical. At one quart, we'll paint up to a 100 inch screen. We're talking about $468, which is very, very reasonable. And our two quarts, we'll paint up to 120 inch to 150 inch. 
And then we have the big boy uh, screen, which is uh, the gallons. They will paint up to uh, 180 to about 260 in screen. All right, so we'll cut some of the lights off here. There you go. Now mind you, it took me no time at all to paint this screen. Let's go do the angle game. So we'll turn around to the side, you'll see how black their screen will get the Dark Star 9 compared to the Crystal Age. Look how amazing that looks. Wait till I show you the projector I'm using. And I'm like, whoa. So you don't have to have an expensive projector. It doesn't make a difference about the lighting you have in your environment. You can paint and design your own high professional screen and it's not gonna cost you a lot of money. Now, I just wanna add real quick, uh, the one quartz kits will come with the frog tape, will come with drop cloth. I'm sorry, there will not be a paint sprayer in that, but I will be doing a demonstration on how you can use a foam roller, very lightly, don't press heavy on it. And also too, the two quarts will come with a uh, Wagner paint sprayer, frog tape, and uh, drop cloth and the big boy kit which is a one gallon will come with the um, paint sprayer and also to drop cloth and frog tape. Look at that. So that proves right there you can pretty much use any surface you want and you don't have to worry about saying well is that surface going to work? Um, is that surface going to be okay? You know you don't have to worry about that. There we go. What well, I know about allergies, I have a real bad, I have an uh, allergic reaction to shrimp. And I mean, you talk about getting jacked up, I will get jacked up. All right, so look at this. Now, real quick, I'm gonna pop down here and show you our projector really quick while my camera's acting right. So we're using the NEC VT595 projector. This is a very cheap projector. This projector is, um, we're doing it 720p, and we're doing it at 2,000 lumens. Let's go back to the area where they're showing the bowl of rice. I particularly like that because you can actually see. Now, this is what I'm gonna explain to you right here. Now, when you have these screens, uh, not to putting any company down, but when you have these screens uh, that have these really dark textures to them, like Dark Star 9 and some other screens out there that are actually designed this way, um, the problem is the fact you have something called over contrast. We have just way too much contrast level. The contrast levels are just are just too heavy, and because of that, this is what happens. You know, a screen when it comes to areas that require very light, brilliant, bright colors, uh, contrast is just too much, and you get this. So. We're doing this on a 2,000 lumen projector. And mind you, the projector we're using is not an expensive projector. That projector is probably about uh, $60 some places, maybe $100 in other places, but not very expensive. And then we got the overhead spotlight on. We'll nail that. Sorry about that, putting the camera up there like that. But just want to show you, even with the lights on, how amazing the screen looks. And we'll throw on the second spotlight over here. A lot of people say, well, why do you do the video with spotlights? Well, the reason why we do the video with spotlights is because there's some people out there who do not want to be in a bat cave all day long, you know? They don't have the dedicated theater room, so they have their, their projection screens and their living rooms and stuff like that. So they want to see with the screen how powerful the game's going to be. They don't want to wash out picture. So I have some of the lights on and some of the lights off. And just to let you know, the chemical, once you put the coating on it, the final finish coating on it, it does become weatherproof, which means you can take it outside, which is awesome because it's a win-win. So it's kind of a screen paint for indoor and outdoor, so you can't beat that. All right, so let's go over here. Let's get back to this. Now look, at how, look how amazing that looks. It's being hit with the 2000 lumen projector. Now we'll take this light out and we'll take this light out. We still have the backlight kicking right now. Look how beautiful that looks. Ooh man, that's so hot. Sorry about that. I get excited when it comes to my screens. I do. But look how beautiful that looks. As I showed you, cardboard, glass, that plastic cardboard, kind of carbon cardboard, 
you know, it just shows you that you can coat anything you want. So, you know, you got people out there thinking that, oh, is this going to be smooth enough? Is the surface going to be good enough? Just don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. Look at this. Look at this screen. Look how beautiful it looks. I have taken all the guesswork when it comes to basically designing the ultimate home theater. Look at this. Look at this. This is cardboard. These, these, are, these are materials that you can find anywhere in your house. Look at this. I literally mean you could paint anything. You could paint the side of your car door with this stuff, and it'll look like a flat screen TV. And to tell you the truth, I'm gonna have some fun with this. You know, I think the next couple of days, I'm gonna be going to Home Depot and I'm gonna be picking out some really weird stuff to coat with the chemical. I'm gonna have a ball with it. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is. How you can just go to Home Depot and go, you know what? I'll turn that into a screen. I'll turn this into a screen. Can you can think outside the box? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And see, turn the spotlight on. That's that crystal, that's that smart technology game kicking in. Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. The new Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paint is now available on our website. I'm sorry for the labels. The labels are going to be a little dinky. We're still waiting for, we're actually going to print out some temporary labels for the time being to fulfill our customers' needs. But um, the, uh, the labels are being designed by the graphic designer. So all that's coming into work. So you guys are really going to enjoy this. I'd like to thank you all.